selected portions of a body camera footage from a shooting about six weeks ago. The sheriff's office says that five deputies shot at Michael Culbertson as he ran from them with a gun in his hand. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell has that story. The shooting happened here after the sheriff's office said Colbertson came out of the wood line. We do want to warn you this video is difficult to watch and it might be disturbing for some viewers. When he looked up at me, he said, Papa, I love you. I didn't know that was going to be it. Kerry Reese says his grandson, Michael Colbertson, stopped by his house the morning before he died. And when I went out there, he looked at me and said, Papa, I love you. And he said, I got to go. And he turned and started running. Colbertson had been on the run from deputies since the previous day. The day before the incident, on July 10th, deputies responded to the residence on Blake Street after receiving a call regarding Colbertson causing a disturbance. He was also wanted for fleeing a traffic stop in June. His grandfather said there was no need for him to die. Just a lot of questions. Why the excessive force for a traffic violation? Let me see Captain Tim Brown narrates what he sees happening in a video released by the sheriff's office. At this time, deputies observed Coberson while holding a cell phone in his left hand, retrieve a firearm with his right hand. Records show five deputies shot at Colbertson. After a stringent review, our office has determined that Colbertson's actions led to the deputies taking the necessary force that unfortunately led to his death. According to Reese, officers threatened Colbertson's girlfriend with arrest if she didn't help them. They kind of forced her into doing this thing, so she rode down the road with a policeman in the car. When she came down the street, Michael came out to get in the car with her. He says she was told to drive away while deputies pursued Colbertson in an unmarked van. There he is, there he is, there he is. Let me see your hands right now. Let me see your hands. 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 The sheriff said the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division was called in to investigate this incident, as they are with all shootings that involve their deputies. That investigation is still active. In Greenville County and Maxwell 7 News. By the way, the full video released by the sheriff's office is on our website, WSPA.com.